Hey folks, this is Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. One of the things that I found that has been very useful for me, not only in improving myself as a fighter and martial artist, but also in other areas of my life, whether it's in my relationships or in business, is the idea of self-awareness and cultivating that. Now, Self-awareness really requires a couple of things, though, okay? <laughs> One is that uh, you need to have some place that you're going, right? It's, it doesn't really do much good just to kind of feel yourself and evaluate. I mean, there's that's just one aspect of it, but there's got to be somewhere that you are going, um, some some goal that you are trying to achieve for yourself. So on the mat, it could be such that you improve your defense, right? You just don't get kicked um, or get get hit as as often. Or it could be such that, okay, you want to, you know, land uh, better body shots or whatever. There has to be something that you are moving toward, right? And it could take a while for for you to get that particularly if it's such that you have just started your your fighting journey right or any journey for that matter you're just still getting kind of your lay of the land you're getting the feel in your mind and body and just getting used to everything but then there comes a point when you start asking yourself okay well what am i here for what am i doing here what um what is it that I'm really looking to achieve? And really, that's that's the first step. Once you have somewhere that you want to go, then you want to start cultivating this this self awareness, right? And actually, just even asking those questions of like, what am I doing here? Where am I gonna, you know, where am I going? That's self awareness in and of itself, right? Um, so you need those two things, right? You have a place to go, but then you start, you know, kind of noticing things for yourself. And, um, second thing is really, you got to pause, right? Um, do what you're doing and pause and ask those questions. Where am I at? What, how, how did I do there? Right. I, I, I do that a lot, particularly when I'm drilling is, I don't just kind of go through the motions like aerobics, right? It's like, okay, let me evaluate. How did that feel in my body? Did it feel like I had a good um, a good shot in there? Or did I feel like I had good form? It could be such what if I'm sparring. Okay, how did I how did I feel about this person, you know, hitting me or affecting me in some way? Just asking that that question um, w- when possible, then making adjustments as, as necessary, right? Um, it also requires a bit of humility. Um, you know, I think if you're already at the point where it's It's such that you're 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 you are self aware. You're you're looking for improvement. You've probably got a bit of that already, but sometimes it it you know that ego still comes in, and you you think you're right the whole time, and you only have that one perspective. Um, so sometimes you might need to do that that check <laughs> of yourself and 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 make sure that okay, let me I'm I'm here to make progress. I'm not here to pump up where I am right now. Right. Um, again, it could take a while for for this uh, self awareness to to kick in, particularly in areas where it's very emotional. Right? It's you get pulled into things. If, for example, at, at uh, with my relationships with with my kids, you know, I mean, sometimes it's easy just to kind of fall into the regular routine uh, habit of you know just telling them what to do, do their chores, clean up and, and, and all that type of thing, or raising my voice to them. And it takes a little bit uh, more self-awareness for me, uh, you know, a little, it's a little bit more strength rather to, to get that uh, self-awareness uh, in there um, so that I can continue to make progress in, in those areas. Right. But, you know, as you're working your way to becoming better, um, becoming uh, more self-aware, you could use some help probably. And a, a couple of ways that you can get that definitely in terms of the, um, 
in terms of the gym and and you know uh, fighting and that type of thing um, getting feedback from your partners your coaches th- that's invaluable right because not only do you have somebody that uh, can tell you hey you know this is what i felt or this is what i saw but they can kind of coach you down the path that you've shared with them that that you want to go down right um, if, if you don't have that all the time, then it could be such that you start documenting yourself, um, get out your phone, uh, record yourself and not in a way that you're posting selfies or that type of thing. But I mean, this is for you, for you to be able to see, uh, later on, um, in, from a different perspective, what it is that, that you're doing. So it may be such that you have to, you have to delay that self-awareness that, that, you know, checking yourself uh, an hour or two later somewhere somewhere down the line but you know over time as you have more of that practice of checking yourself and asking yourself those questions and making sure that you are on the path that you set for yourself that uh, you need that less and less so i hope that was helpful folks Um, again just that's something that you need to give yourself grace on probably <laughs> initially, but as you get more and more practice doing it and getting the feedback, not only from others, but from yourself, that's something that can start happening um, much more often um, and much more uh, quickly as you go down your path in whatever area of life that you, uh, that you decide to, to be more uh, self-aware in. This is Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. Talk to you next time. 